Ooh. <laughs> what the heck? There's a DJ. There's a DJ. The entire place is lit by flickering candlelight. A total fire hazard, but very atmospheric. Not as atmospheric as the DJ! <laughs> and he's a mixer! We can groove with that! Nice and warm and flickery. We have to talk to the DJ, guys. Oh my god! You are Vlad? Already? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I didn't go through countless of rooms, go through countless of puzzles, solving them all, to get to the top of the tower, and there we meet Vlad. But no, he's right here in the castle hall. <laughs> this is so surprising, guys. <laughs> Vlad, the man here already in the first room. <laughs> it's a uh, DJ Bald? Beard? I don't know. He's getting real on the wheels of steel. He's way too focused for me to disturb him with chit chat. All right, all right. I guess we'll talk to you, Vlad. That is the ruler of the castle. He has a very uh, urban vibe around him. Yep, <laughs> very urban indeed. <laughs> Sick cornrows, though, I have to admit. But I want to get him agitated, guys. We we'll ignore him for now and look at all the items. <laughs> this place is plastered with depictions of what I can only assume are ancient Romanian rulers. Even better, we are leaving this room and go somewhere else. <laughs> I'm pretty much convinced I need to get myself in there. Then do it! No, don't talk to Vlad! Uh, uh, uh. No one walks further into the castle unless... Unless what? Chill, I was getting to that. Unless they defeat Vlad in battle. Oh, man. Are you his spokesman now? You're only the DJ. <laughs> You're nothing but the DJ. A little bit cobwebby, but hey, big castle, hard to keep clean. Not one clean-shaven lord from what I'm seeing. <laughs> That's a very, very familiar looking guy. Not the same as the one in Photo Modest, but still, where do I know him from? Like looking myself in the mirror. I can see those eyes. Those are the same eyes. Just kidding, it's Vlad the Impaler. <laughs> Does this mean Karn Day Vlad is his descendant? Oh. Well, who knows? Oh. Some kind of family crest, maybe. Cool dragon design on it. Man, if I ever get a family crest, dragon it is. What is it with this movie and rappers, seriously? What is the fascination here? It's... Uh, I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, it's your little friend. We've met. I'm more interested in why the movie is on pause right now. <laughs> why is it on pause? This place is plastered with depictions of what I can only assume are ancient Romanian rulers. A little bit cobwebby, but hey, big castle, hard to keep clean. Alright, alright, I think that's enough. <laughs> Let's go talk to Vlad. He's a vibin' voivod, that's for sure. He's ignoring me. Oh, because I ignore him all this time. <laughs> now we are paying the price. I'll let you handle this one, gladly. Uh, Mr. DJ, do I need to book an appointment? He's way too focused for me to disturb him with chit chat. All right, let's see what we can use here, guys. Uh, not. 
Not the fork. We're not fighting him with the fork. Okay, what do we do, guys? How do we get his attention? Ah, uh, kitty? Kitty. I'll let you handle this one. Go Attack ahead. him. Uh... Nothing else to do here but to go into the castle, further into the castle, but the DJ is not letting me, right? Uh, uh, uh. No one walks further into the castle unless... Unless what? Chill, I was getting... Alright, alright, alright. Oh, How do we defeat him? He is not moving. Using the fog, really, guys. This is not a fork battle. Candles, candles. Oh, can the we go up the steps? The lit by flickering candlelight. A total fire hazard, but very atmospheric. Can we go up to the second floor? Oh! We can go up here, guys. Ooh! So, the DJ let me... Go through the gates? Will he do so? Wow. A very gothic looking chest. Nice. As shoddy as it looks, there's a lock here. Looks like I could take it down easily with the right tool. The right tool with the chest? The fork? <laughs> Is it finally time that I can use a okay, fork? Wow. Unlocked. Let's see what's inside here. Some vinyls and a gauntlet. Ooh, Ooh, I like gauntlets. We can fight Vlad now with the gauntlets. Anything else? An empty chest. That's all there is, guys. <laughs> only one chest. We can't even look at the bell of Notre Dame. <laughs> no, only the chest. Nothing here. Wow. But at least we got a weapon. Ooh, can go this way too. Uh, what are you, where are you There's going? There's that cool dragon design on these banners too. I know. Let's go this way. Ooh, I was the castle now. So, that's where the bell is, guys. At uh, the middle of the tower. Way up there. Hangs the bell of Notre Dame. So... <laughs> only the tower? Is that the only hotspot? Whoa, that's quite the sight. That's the old monastery's bell tower surrounded by the castle on all sides. Awesome. First, I need to get inside the castle. I didn't see any uh, bell pool though. So how do we ring the bell if we need to ring the bell? So on the other side is the same. Yeah. The same thing. Well, let's go try the gauntlet, guys. I think we can battle Vlad now. With our super powerful... Power. Weapon of D. 
destructiveness, guys. The gauntlets. I'm gonna try it right now. Time to battle! Where are you going? <laughs> Go back. I formally challenge you to battle, Vlad. <laughs> oh, wow! Yeah! Here's the thing I'm telling all contenders all the time First of all, you gotta have a throne before you go for mine You just need my cellar for replacement Ever since back in the days when your mama kicked you off the basement <laughs> Is it my turn now? <laughs> oh no! No, no! I don't care about your titles, they don't make you any better This place is kinda chilly, can I maybe bum a sweater? <laughs> no, you can't. I I lost the battle already. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> I need some inspiration here, guys. I need inspiration. Yeah. Here's the thing I'm telling all contenders all the time First of all, you gotta have a throne before you go for mine You just need my cellar for replacement Ever since back in the days when your mama kicked you off the basement Nice castle! Please excuse me if I'm laughing Still I've only seen more cobwebs on the shelf Where you keep your rapping skills old and forgotten Much like your grandeur is Ancestors on the wall so they can mock you over centuries Oh! It's like nah, centuries is how long I'll actually be laughing at just how wrong You look with that women's shirt that you got on Yo, it's like I seen it in my crystal ball And can't forget it's evident Your cat's the only that you'll ever get I think we need to choose something that is related to what he just said um, oh, I don't know which one. <laughs> What's with the outfit, dude? I sight playing tricks. Hell, your clothes are like booze and decisions. They don't mix well. You look all over the place. I call him like I see him. Let me just channel Indy. He belongs in a museum. Oh, yeah. You could channel Mr. Jones till you ain't even close And it shows the only dope stuff you're saying are quotes So now what's next? You're gonna try the two-headed monkey trick? Kid, I could just say grandfather's name and then they'll bow quick Oh, there's only one left I'm doing battle with you, not with your family name Your only claim to fame is who your grandpa was? Lame High born, don't make you high skilled automatically. I don't give a fluffy cat's butt about your pedigree. <laughs> Yo! Yeah. It's not my fault, you weak, can't accept your defeat. Your name won't ring any bells, there's no buzz on the street. Return to the library where you can't belong. This ain't a game, nerd. You better off reading the Necronomicon. Oh, <laughs> uh, I guess this cat's a choice, you. We just brag now. Low-born librarian, but check the skills I've gotten I've dealt with black magic and cultists This is nothing, it's like easy mode Not even trying, having fun Kitty, cover up this fool with some litter Cause he's done <laughs> Whoa, got skills, man I can't, I can't, I can't stop rhyming there's something wrong with me, I can't stop rhyming Yo, my words are lethal Syntax too sick for your feeble comebacks Give me any tracks to spit on I'm sicker than fish with people I'm even sicker than their vicar <laughs> Seen too much craziness Dark come to Transylvania Man, it's all a hazy mess I'm even harder to impress There's cultists coming after me Compared to what I've been through This rap battle's been a laugh to me Ever read the Necronomicon? Please get back to me Now I got a crazy cat that's talking smack to me Sound like fun? Nah, it's one of those raw deals Like it feels like a superpower But it only works when she feels like it I'm going nuts that's what's cracking hey this talk of crazy huge monsters in the crack and bay who knows what's next one problem at a time that's how I'm at it I'm turning alcoholics into caffeine addicts getting bombed by cultists dodging their dark lords dreading esoteric orders hating tourist boards I'm never bored never a dull moment since this started when your cat freaking remembers every single time you farted I just roll with it there's stuff that I don't get kind of amazing 
thing? How do I carry so much crap without a backpack? Man, it's crazy. I stop and stare at everything, not even blinking. Then rubbing everything on everything, what am I thinking? Whether in dark, confishment or Romania, just stop and talk to random people, it's a mania. The crap I have to pull just to get some answers Like dividing hearts, counting pieces for some crazy passwords If it ain't one thing, then it's another Like drinking vegetable oil and fire water? Uh, this world is crazy, surreal, freaking foul and dark Solo monars, masks and cats that growl and bark Anyway, I'm out of here, gotta find my cat a remedy Peace, I'm on my way to more insanity Whoa, epic guys That was epic Cat, let's dig deeper into the bowels of the castle and find peace Roger that. I'll scout ahead and... Not so fast, Kid A. I'm going in first. I need to make sure it's safe. I can take care of myself, Kerwin. Plus, I'm stealthy, so... Nonsense. You're a girl, after all. I... It is my solemn masculine God. duty to keep us both out of harm's way. Oh, God. Fine, you dingus. Go ahead. Lead. Watch closely. You might learn a thing or two. Watch and learn, Kitty. Go grab the gauntlet back. <laughs> I am their honor guest, guys. What just happened? Oh, what the heck? Peace, that's peace. The girl, guys. <laughs> ah, whoa, wait, what the? Peace, Busara. Whoa. Y y yes. Wh who's asking? What is this? Who's making a talk? It. Tread carefully, human. We're here to. I don't know what tricks you're pulling, Butcher, but I'm not going down without a fight. No Butcher here. I'm a real, bona fide talking cat. Stop struggling and listen. Never! <sighs> I tried. What are you going to do, Kitty? Listen, Peace. <laughs> How do you do this? Talk? A little book called The Necronomicon? Ever heard of it? No. Are you kidding me? No way. Way. Oh, this... this is... this is crazy. I am playing as Kitty. Stay calm. Calmed it down yet? Ugh. Listen, me and Buzz over there have come here looking for you. Your dad sent us. Oh yeah, sure. If that's so, why haven't you untied him? Think of it as an educational pursuit. He's currently learning to stop underestimating me. <coughs> well, if we're on the same side, just set me free. In due time, got some planetary mess to take care of first. Me? <laughs> I'll raise you the planets. <laughs> Why did you tie up my friend? He's completely harmless. Why don't you set him free then? Not yet. He is learning something valuable. Uh huh. I'm wondering who the guy is in the middle. <laughs> who is he? Got anything out of your weird buddy over there? As a matter of fact, I did. Like the whereabouts of Baron Ferenczi? Mm, maybe. I'm listening. Again, we're on the same side. As soon as you untie me, kitty. Am I really controlling kitty? Ooh, we are controlling kitty! <laughs> oh, poor Bass. He isn't even a hotspot here. <laughs> He is not being given a hotspot, guys. You can't even talk to us. Poor guy. Hey, what about you, Weedo? Greetings, biped. <laughs> up to the left, then. Up to the right, then. Up to the middle, and Back up to the right. Hello, kitty. Is that a clue? <laughs> is that a clue? Did we arrange those planets following the clue that you just sang about? What's your name, buddy? Hey, kitty cat. I'm Nelu. I have strong legs. You sure do. 
What's with all the planet stuff, Nelu? Ooh, I love my planet. It used to be an astromo. Uh, astrono. Astronomer? That's it. Then one day, big metal tube you at stars to hit me right in the head it did. Bonk! Baron, let me move in here and play with planets if I guard the gate. Hatches everywhere we go. Hatches! Now I guard the gate. Now I play with planets. Now I play with planets. Now I guard the gate. So, how do I open this gate, Nelu? Ooh, I'm not allowed to tell little kitty cat. Baron says no one allowed. Only they look for it down there. Look for what? I don't know for sure. Big, big bat, I think. Big, big bat. Sure. What was that singing about? Oh, just directions to Grandma's house. I have bad, bad memory, but strong legs. <laughs> right. Tell me about your grandma. Grandma has very bad varicose veins. She does. All the doggies snap at them. They think they're sausages. <laughs> Lovely. I need you to sing the song again. <laughs> I need to write down the clue. Do we need to talk to him again, guys? One more time, please. Up to the left, then up to the right, then up to the middle, and back up to the right. Hello, kitty. Up to the middle and back up to the right. Interesting, guys. All right, copy that down. All right, goodbye. <laughs> I don't need you anymore. Goodbye. Let's talk to peace again. Uh, okay, never mind. The same choices, guys. Alright, so we do have all the planets here. Oh, upper left, up to the right, up to the left. Those are buttons at the top. Upper left button. Middle button. It's like a mouse. Then we also have the planets. Yeah, they are not in order, guys. Are we missing Pluto? Oh, Pluto is not here. Poor Pluto. And Mercury is not an option, too. <laughs> Poor Mercury got erased. So, what do. Uh, I do. I do. I need to arrange them in. Are they not in order already? They are in a specific order. But if we follow the clue, follow the song, up to the left. So we just press that button, upper left button. I can't reach it from here. Oh, I need to untie bus then. There's a panel. Look at the panel. Okay. So the planets, the eight planets. Then we have the. S oh my god, what does that do? What are these spots here? Reset the puzzle? This one is to exit the puzzle. Is that a hash go. Wait, hold on. There's a hash button there. So if we solve the puzzle, the hash will open up. The hatch goes down. What does that mean, though? Up to the left, up to the right, uh, and then back, up in the middle, up to the left. The left side going up, up to the right, the right side going up. It's like a V shape. Is that possible?
Oh, they do move. In real life. Well, this planet models. I, I can jump on the Jupiter now. Oh, maybe use the planet to reach those buttons. Up to the left. Press the uh, upper left button. Interesting, guys. Oh, I get it now. So we press this button. Nice. Press the button. Upper left. Okay. Now I need to adjust the planets again. Because I need to get to the button on the other side. I think that's what's happening. All right. Now we press the upper right button. Yeah! So now we have to get to the middle button. Pretty straightforward puzzle, guys, if I'm right. Oh, look at the sequence there at the bottom. Yeah, so up to the left, up to the right, up to the middle, and then go back up to the right. So there are four steps in the sequence. Yeah. Okay. Mercury is too small for us to jump on. <laughs> so that's why he doesn't have a, a hotspot, guys. He's not interactive. I mean, poor Pluto, I know you're not a planet anymore, but still, <laughs> it's pretty sad. <laughs> Pluto is going to be the tiniest. Pluto is in the next room. <laughs> Pluto is not in this room. Alright. And now we back up to the right, the right button again. Hopefully this is correct. Did something happen just now? There is a ding. <laughs> There's an extra sound there. Do we have a new hotspot? Uh, the ground. I don't see anything different here. Wait, did we do something wrong? Where's the hatch? Do we need to press a button? Ah, oh, there we go! Yeah! In your face, humans! I've been enjoying this, but I guess I'll be untying you two now. Please tell me what is going on here. Alright, let's take it from the top. So this bozo walks in one night with a weird book and starts reading from it. Thus realizing he was singing the sequence to push the capstones in. Thus yet again proving feline superiority. Anything you want to say, Buzz? 
<sighs> I'm sorry for doubting you. Also, glad we finally found you, Peace. <sighs> well, if Father trusted you too, I guess I should too. So, where is this Baron? It seems like him and his goons are about done with what they came to do here. And they're heading over to Fishmouth. Ugh, not again. Let's head down that hatch right now. And we might still catch him before they're off. Uh, after you, ladies. Looks like we're too late. The Baron's left already. And it seems he got what he was looking for. He's never too late. And still catch him. Who's this Baron? Why were you looking for him? What is he after? Baron Ferenci. Just one of the many names the Butcher goes by. We're both looking at the same thing here. What do you think it is they've dug out of that rock there? I don't dare venture a guess. A huge pair of dragon wings. That's what they got away with. Oh. Nothing we can do about it now, Carrier. No one to the work. They do look like wings. Dragon wings. Just like in the legend, but hey, I'm prepared to believe anything at this point. What does this guy need him for? They do call him the Butcher, so I can only assume the worst. Oh, right. No end to the work? What does that mean, Peace? How much of the book have you read? Uh, I read a bit of it once. It made Kitty start to talk. I was frankly too terrified to examine it since. Open it at the very last page. It's writing itself. The work is just another name for the Necronomicon, and it literally has no end. Yet. Wow. Yet? Nothing lasts forever, right? One can hope. So what happened if, when it ends? What happened? The world will end. <laughs> it's going to be the apocalypse. So wait a minute, does this mean... I don't know exactly what it means to be truthful. No one really does. What we do know is that it can change reality around it. And it might be controlled while doing so. Not by Buzz. Did you just call me Carrier? That seems to be your role, yes. Oh, again with this deterministic nonsense. That's a mighty big word there, buddy. The book shows you to carry it, and there's nothing you can do about it. What does that make you? I'm a hunter of evils. Huh, like your dad, huh? He's more of a protector of the other. So everyone has their little role in this production, huh? What's kitties, then? I, uh... I don't want to speculate on that. Smart girl. The other. Almstein is not like us. You think or you know? Neither. I believe. Ugh, never mind. Was it you who installed the communications jammer? I was trying to sabotage the Baron. Much good did that do. You gave us quite the headache. Literally. Sorry, I guess? How did you get past Vlad and his DJ friend? Did you have to bust out some dope rhymes? Oh, <laughs> what? No, I'm stealthy. I don't think they even suspect what I've been going on underneath them. So what's our next... W wait a minute. M my phone's ringing, but we're deep underground. Everything's upside down around here. Dawn, is that you? Finally. Where the heck were you guys? We've been calling forever. Long story. The Butcher was here, but he gave us the slip. We did find peace. She's here with us. Hold on, I'm putting you on speaker. Hello. Uh, yeah, hi. 
so I found what was hidden in Flamel's abode. The stabilizing element? Yeah, a piece of paper with one phrase written on it. What phrase? I have it right here, one sec. A terrible storm, and three bells ringing throughout it shall awaken the beast. Three bells? Three church bells? A terrible storm. As freak temp as a Hurricane Herbert, if it's to be taken literally. I seem to just nearly miss it every time I get somewhere. Until one day you won't. Three bells. There's a bell in this castle. I wonder if it has anything to do with this. And there was a bell above Flamel's place where I found this. So we look for a third one, right? If Awakening the Beast really is what we want. Good point. Well, is it? Oh, that sounds exciting at least. I have enough excitement in my life already. Shall awaken the beast? Yeah, that part is a little unnerving. It is a little true. I feel the same. It probably still needs to happen, right? Most likely, yes. It probably does. Whatever that means. <laughs> So this was the constant Barnabas told me about. The stabilizing element. If only we actually knew what that meant. The Necronomicon is ever-changing chaos. If Olmstein wrote it down, whatever this phrase describes, will probably happen, for better or worse. This is all fine and dandy, but what do we do next? I'm convinced the Butcher's left for Fishmouth, with a pair of dragon wings in tow. Fishmouth. Their evil festival should be in full swing by now. <laughs> you and Kitty shouldn't be showing your faces here again. It's my turn to follow this butcher deep into fish with stinking guts. Not without looking like one of them creepy cultists, you're not. You need to see the voodoo gentleman about a disguise, Mr. Katype. The password is Fidelio. Tell him Kitty says hi. All right, kids. Head on over to my office. I'll meet you there. Once I'm done with the butcher. Sounds like we're changing characters now. Wow.